Hey, what's up guys? Valden here with another Octopath Traveler video. Um, so in the last episode that when we played Octopath, um, we had gotten to where the bandits were attacking the village. In this episode, what I did here was I leveled Overick up to level 10. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to spend, first of all, the money that I have from doing so to buy him some better items. We're going to try and take on the captain of the watch here in the town. So we're going to buy him the iron sword. Oh, I don't think I upgraded. I don't think I attached it. Brown shield will help. Okay, and then I think we'll get the sturdy helm. And we don't have enough for the silver vest. In fact, we don't even have enough for the bronze armor. Okay, that'll get us pretty uh, beefed up here to fight that guy. I already kind of have an idea that he's going to be very difficult. I've seen some playthroughs. He doesn't look like he's a pushover. So if you can see, he's got a strength of four. I'm totally expecting we're not going to be able to take him out, but I'm going to give it a try. Oh, uh, we only did 23 damage to him. He did like 139 to us. Oh, man. Try stout well real quick. How about you? And he's still doing like ninety three even with that. Oh, we broke him. God, that only does 35. No. Now he buffed himself up. Man, I don't think we're going to be able to do this. Oh, we just got our asses handed to us. Man, get good, bro. The, the thing about him is, with him being that powerful, I think that he gives us something if we beat him. So I'm just going to go out here and we're going to kind of advance the storyline since we can't actually beat him yet. Oh, you know, the other thing too... We can get another new skill. This looks most useful right now. And this unlocks support skills, which is cover right now. Not really sure what that is, but we'll be able to check, I'm sure, here in a moment. Let us fight with honor. Okay, so we got some birds. I think not. I I don't Victory see the cover ability anywhere. Ah! 
I think this is the first enemy we've run into, too, that is actually vulnerable to spears. I don't think I need to use all the boosts. Yeah, I'm glad I didn't. It would have been a waste. Yeah, we're definitely going to be able to take down most of the enemies that we run into. Let's see what's going on with these guys. Oh. Also, they're bandits. Look who's come. Have you lost something, Hedge Knight? Move aside before I cut you in two. Oh. You have courage, I'll give you that. Just who are ye anyway? Never seen no hedge knight swing a blade the way you do. Indeed. Then you'll step aside if you know what's good for you. The hell? <laughs> He's like, what the hell? You're on our land now, hedge knight. We give the orders here. You have skill, but you're a man like any other, and you'll bleed as red. I will not fail. Victory shall be mine. All right. Well, we're gonna make use of the warrior skills. I will cut you down. This will be able to take them all out. With each battle, I grow stronger. Well, that was pretty easy. Mm. That's right, we're looking to save. I don't remember his name, but he's the one that says Krivens all the time. This seems like that's the only way I'm going to be able to remember him. Yeah, so it looks like we get, we're get supposed to go to the right, but there's probably stuff to get over here on the left. Yeah, there's a couple chests. So did we... Oh, we did pass up stuff. Good thing I went back. So, if there's no way to go... A good day for How about you? I feel like I need to go back to the entrance now because it seems like we passed up that other way. I'm assuming it's got to all connect. Oi. That's right. Well, that's his name, Philip. He's stronger than all you put together. You won't stand a chance. Oh, he's talking about Ulbrich. Hey, come on. Hey, come on. <laughs> It's not a joke, stop laughing. You hear that, mates? This hedge knight's the strongest blade in the realm. He thinks he can best all of us. He's more madman than knight. This ain't a fairy tale, boy. Real knights don't piddle away their days in the company of swineherds. 
He's a knight from the stories a damsel in distress might serve as better bait. Reckon we should go back for the mug. <laughs> Stop it, you won't be laughing when Sir Berg is through with you. <laughs> oh, so that's where Sir Berg is coming from. You know, all the people in the town call him Sir Berg. And I didn't realize that's the fake name he's using instead of Eisenberg. Sir Berg, now there's a frightening name. Look, me arm's all a trembling. Shut up, all of you. Boss? Aye. Reckon the boys got more courage than the lot of you, and more wits to boot. So less yammering and more sharpening your stabbers. But, but boss, ain't no way the hedge knight'll follow us here, lest he's mad and all. That's right. Aye, it ain't like it's his own son or nothing, why should he care? Why, indeed, things could get interesting, though, if he does show. Always had a soft spot for men with more courage than sense. <laughs> like the boy here. His name is Gaston. Oh, makes me think of Beauty and the Beast. What do you say, lad? Do you care to join our little family? We're always looking for men with pluck. Not on your life. I'll never join you. I'm going to be a brave warrior like Sir Berg. <laughs> you hear that, men? The boy says he's too good for a banditry. Think you're the only one who feels that way, boy? Let me tell you something. Hmm? What is it, boss? Oh, there's Alberic finally. Sorry I'm late. Got held Sorry I'm late, lad. Got held up along the way. Hi, look. It's the mighty Sir Berg in the flesh. He is mad. Now do you get in here anyway? Where are the lookouts? Bleeding in the dirt, last I saw. <laughs> <laughs> Stay back! Did, did, did he just... He parried the boss's blow! Hang me, but I ain't never seen no one do that before. You're quick, all right. And strong. Clearly, no common hedge knight, are you? Just as you are no common brigand. Like it, do you? It just so happens to be a present from an old friend. Let me guess, Erhard. Erhard? Yep. Oh, you know the man, do you now? These games all get to be uh, cliche after a while. You can guess everything that's going to happen. So it is his blade. As if I needed another reason to cut you down where you stand. How do you know Earhart, rogue? Speak, or I'll slice your throat. <sighs> You've got a score to say. Is that it? I can see it in your eyes. They blaze like fire when you said his name. Look, I don't know what passed between you and Earhart. But if you're looking to ask questions of me, my good sir, you'll have to earn the right! I will not fail. Oh. Well, he's mighty huge, isn't he? Like, he's like 20 stories tall. That one bandit is only as big as his thigh. Crazy. Obviously, this is a boss fight. I 
think we should take uh, the cronies here first. Victory shall be my way. Yeah, obviously they're not hurting us much, but after a while, this is all gonna add up. Oh, the other guys are tough too. Alright, um, we're gonna need our SP back. The battle is truly joined. Out of my way! Oh, one of them's down. The battle is truly See if we can just take this guy out. Yeah, there he goes. So the boss is invulnerable to sword. Figures the thing we didn't buy a new one of is what he's weak to. Good thing I did Stout Wall, because that would, probably would have done a lot more damage to us if I wouldn't have. Um, let's get our health back. I'm okay using items here, it's a boss fight. Kind of think that spear move would have been more useful in this fight, but the other guys were sword weak, so I don't know. Maybe not. I'm hoping this time we're going to take them down. Yeah, there he goes. That was a good hit at the end. Did about 400 damage. Hey, we got a hand axe. wonder if that's better than the weapon we have. I yield. Now I will have my answers. How do you know Erhard? Aye. We fought alongside each other as all, served each other in a band of mercenaries. He was already an old hand when I signed up, helped me out, showed me the ropes. Mm -hmm. A cell sword, and where is he now? <laughs> Damned if I know, when our group disbanded, we went our separate ways. After that, I drifted from one town to the next, tried one trade, then another, but swinging a blade's the only thing that's ever come natural to me. So here I am. Times are lean, and a man's got to make a living. Anyone could use a sword arm like yours. You could protect the people instead of stealing from them. I I could, but honest work takes more wits than the gods saw fit to bless me with. Never meant to do anyone no harm, but life doesn't always give us a choice in the matter, does it? Choice or no, you must answer for your crimes. I I, I know the score, but I've got my men to think about too. Easy now, man. The Hedge Knight has the right of it. I've got more than enough blood on my hands. Live by the sword, and... Well, you know how it goes. Man has to own up to what he's done. No. Enough blood's been spilled here today. Surrender, and I will see that you and your men are not harmed. Mm -hmm. 
You do me a kindness, Hedge Knight, and so I'll do you one in return. I told you I didn't know where Erhard is, and I don't. But I know someone who might. Hi. Gustav's his name, Sir Gustav. Some call him the Black Knight or other such fussed up nonsense. Erhard taught us both how to use the sword back in the mercenary band. You should find him in Victor's Hollow. And this man will tell me where Erhard is? Hi. He might, then again he might not. Still, if you want to find him that much, I reckon it's worth trying. I can see it in your eyes. I saw your eyes, Hedge Knight. They were dead, like a fish. But the moment you saw my blade, they came to life. Dead have I truly been? <laughs> but what does a common thief know of men's souls? Look. Berg, think the gods you're safe. The villagers are as well, sir. That's right. Round up the thieves and lock them in the village, Gaul. Gaul? Goal? I don't know what that word is. Everything's in like old English. Berg, I could swear I've heard that. Gods be good. Eisenberg. <laughs> oh, he knows he's Eisenberg. Should have known it the way your eyes lit up at the mention of Erhard's name. Uh, you're no hedge knight, you're so over at Eisenberg, the unbending blade. Huh? What? The unbending blade? Damn it! They said he was slain when Hornberg fell. B but I'd heard he lived, but scarce believed it till today. Uh, uh... Is it true, sir? Are you a real knight? Long ago, lad. Long ago. Let's be on our way. We've kept your mother waiting long enough. You got it. Yes, sir. Village has been good to me, but it's time to move on. I shall find Erhard so that I might find the reason I wield this blade. To find a man named Gustav, and God's willing, Erhard himself. Indeed. Victor's Hollow, the man said, that's where I must go. I had stopped believing that I would one day don these clothes again journey will be a long one and I've no more reason to tarry. Okay, so I assume the exit is unblocked now over here. And it is. Alright, well I'm going to end the video here today. At this point, um, we still need to deal with the captain. And I think that's going to entail some more leveling and maybe some better gear, which costs money. So I'm going to just end the video here. If you like the video, go ahead and leave a like. Otherwise, subscribe to the channel and make sure to ring that bell to get updates about new videos as well. Balden is out here today, guys. You have a great day.